Sebastian Vettel will not have arrived in Austin this weekend with the mindset that this year's world championship is a done deal. He and Ferrari have said they believe they can win the last four Grand Prix of the season and such an outcome is perfectly conceivable. Mathematically, it looks tough but Sebastian isnt giving up. There's no chance he'll be thinking it's over, though if Hamilton beats Vettel by more than 16 points it will be. He will go for it to the very end. We all know how things stand. Lewis Hamilton leads by 59 points, with only 100 still in the offing, but it's not a given for Lewis. I still believe there are twists and turns to come. Hamilton decides against kneeling during American National Anthem on paper, we would have expected Sebastian to be top of the table and to have dominated the races in Asia before arriving in Texas. I'm a realist and you'd have to say a fourth world title is looking on the cards for Lewis. But all it takes is, for instance, Max Verstappen and Lewis clashing on the opening corner here and then something going awry with Lewis' car at the subsequent race. Sure, it looks unlikely to happen, but we said the same thing last season when Lewis had that DNF in Malaysia out of the blue at a pivotal moment of his championship campaign. There are parallels between last season and this one. Last year, people were saying unfairly that Nico Rosberg wouldn't have won the title if it hadn't been for Lewis' bad luck. You could say the same thing this season but I never bought that argument last time and I don't this time around. Nico is the deserving 2016 champion and, if Lewis takes the title, then he's the deserving champion this year. Right now, there should be a lot of soul-searching at Ferrari. They know Sebastian should be leading the championship, his last race was curtailed by a simple thing, a faulty spark plug, that should be a quick fix. If the problem had arisen in the Mercedes, it would have been, but the complexities of the Ferrari are that this WASNT an easy fix. It begs the question do they need to strip things down for next season obviously, the focus is still on this season. Sebastian will want to make the point that he's the quickest guy after three races that he should have won but didnt. He's got nothing to lose and, even if he can't pull off a dramatic U-turn in the championship, he'll at least want to go into 2018 with the momentum on his side. As for Lewis, he only goes on track to beat everyone else. He's not going to back off. But, immaterial of their varying positions right now, there's still twists and turns to come in this.